All right, today I'm going to share with you the recipe for my cowboy beans. Whew, this is so heavy, oh, but it's so yummy. We are Luke and Heather Bell, and we have eight children. Seven of them we adopted, and this is just the Bell's 10. So I'm going to be making my cowboy beans recipe. I love it. I've already started some of the ingredients. This is a great recipe to pair with hamburgers, hot dogs, to bring for a barbecue. I'm actually gonna be cooking it in my Lodge cast iron Dutch oven. I love my cast iron pans. So um, let's get The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine my meats, my onions, my peppers, and all of my spices. Um, I have already cooked some of the sausage, but I didn't cook it all the way. So I'm gonna add my cooked sausage, and then also with the bacon too, I didn't cook it all the way, so I'm gonna add this also. And then I cut up one onion. There we go. And then I also cut up one green pepper. All right. So we're gonna add that. And then I'm gonna turn on my burner. I should've done that first. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Okay, and so for my spices, I'm going to add one stick of butter. And then for my spices, it is um, one tablespoon of garlic salt, a half a tablespoon of ground mustard, one tablespoon of onion powder, two tablespoons of garlic, and then a third cup of Worcestershire sauce. All right, I'm gonna get this cooking. And I'm just gonna cook it until the veggies are soft. All right. I'm gonna stir all this goodness up. All right, I'm gonna let this cook, and when that's done, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's looking really good. Um, I'm just trying to crisp, crisp up the bacon a little bit. Um, and get these veggies a little soft and I'm gonna add all my beans. Um, you know, I really like this. My sister-in-law first made this and I'm like, oh my goodness, what is this? And she shared it with me. And so I just kind of, of course, tweaked it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you guys know how I am. So I took the recipe, I found a recipe online and I just kind of looked at how they do things. That's normally what I do when I make a recipe is I will find a recipe, kind of use that concept, but make it my own. So I did add a little different things into this. I mean, but I mean, I use the different beans like they said. I think they do hamburger. I use sausage and bacon instead of hamburger just because we have a lot of sausage and I like how sausage brings flavor to different things especially with the veggies and stuff. My husband is not a big um, green pepper fan, but in this case, I think he's gonna like it because it's gonna add that flavor that these beans need. So I try and cook it really, really well because he's not gonna wanna chunk down on some pepper. So I'm just gonna give this a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna start adding um, everything else that I need to add to this wonderful cowboy beans. You know, using this cast iron with the handle, it kind of makes me feel like I'm on like the trail, like I'm heading out west with my with my family and I, I brought the, the dish, I'm gonna set it on the fire and I just love it so much. You know, Lodge cast iron, I use their stuff all the time. They really need to use me. I've come up with some super cool recipes that I've created on my own using that huge cast iron pan I use, but I really love this Dutch oven. I think it's called a Dutch oven, isn't it? All right, so I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes and then um, we're gonna put it all together and get it in the oven. I actually have my oven set at 350. I'm gonna cook it slowly because I don't want my beans to burn. I don't want my beans to burn, no burn beans. All right, I'll be back in just two minutes. All right, this looks good. So now I'm gonna start adding stuff to it. I'm gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar. And then two tablespoons of Dijon mustard.
Then I'm gonna add probably a half a cup of ketchup. This actually measures for me, so I got these at Pampered Chef. All right. And then I am gonna be using this Casey Gold. Um, it's kind of like smoky, kind of tangy a little bit. I'm gonna use this for my barbecue sauce. No, it doesn't have that color like normal barbecue sauce, but it's super, super yummy. All right, one jar of this. I might add another one later, depending. I'm gonna put it upside down. Now I'm just gonna stir this in. I'm gonna turn this burner down a little bit. All right, stir all that in. So my beans are gonna look a little different, but depending on what barbecue sauce you use, you know, All right, I'm gonna let this cook just for a minute, just to kind of cook in those flavors a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let this simmer and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add all the beans to this. All right, so I've got it cooking for a little bit. So the beans I'm gonna add are just regular baked beans. I have navy beans, canali beans, which is a white kidney bean. I actually am going to do some kidney beans also, then a great northern bean. And I'm not going to drain these. All right, so let's add the white beans. And I got two cans of the canali beans. And then a can of the great northern beans. And then the kidney beans. I want the sauce because as it cooks, it's gonna thicken. And then two cans of the Bush's baked beans. I'm gonna need my, it don't matter what kind you use, whatever. All right, let's get these. I don't wanna waste anything. All right, two cans of these. And you can taste it. I mean, if you wanna add salt and pepper, or a little more ketchup, or maybe a, a liquid smoke. You can do whatever you want to this. I think the things, the reason I really like these is because of the bacon, the sausage, the different beans. So it's gonna cook up in your oven and it's gonna get super thick. That looks great. All right, I'm gonna stir this up. I'm gonna turn this burner off and then I'm gonna stick it into my oven. All right, so now I'm gonna stick it in the oven at 350. I'm gonna cook it slow so because I want it to thicken. I want those sugars and those spices to get in. So I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 450, uh, or 350, I'm sorry, for probably 45 minutes. Like I said, I'm gonna cook it for another 45 minutes on slow. Just keep checking it. So maybe time yourself every 15 minutes, go there, pull it out, just stir it up, stir those spices and everything in there. And as it starts to thicken, because everything's cooked, but you want all those spices to cook in together and then to cook the beans so they're not like so hard from the can. So I would check it every 15 minutes just to see. And as it starts to thicken and it starts to bubble, then you can take it out because when you take it out, because it's cast iron or at least my pan or any pan you're gonna use in the oven, you can also make it on top of the stove where you can just cook it really slow, but it's still gonna cook because the, the thing you're cooking it in is still hot. You can also throw it in a crock pot. Um, if you do the peppers and onions and all that ahead of time, then add it to your crock pot and your spices and your beans and just put it on low like all day you can also do that too. If you want to add hot dogs, you can. You can actually have hot dogs. I got leftover hot dogs. I should throw them in my, that's a great idea. So um, I might throw hot dogs in when it's done just to kind of give it a little pep. So anyway, just keep checking on it. And um, you know, about 45 minutes if you cook it on low. If you put it in a, in a, a crock pot, it's gonna take probably four hours. If you cook it on top of the stove, probably maybe an hour, hour and a half, maybe that. All right, 
We'll be back. Not only did we accomplish the broccoli salad, but my son accomplished this beautiful trifle. He made the custard on his own. He made the whipping cream on his own. Like he did everything on his own. It's so beautiful. The beans are cooking. So the beans are actually almost done too. How beautiful are those, hey? So the beans are almost done too. So we accomplished our goals. Just gonna stir that up while I'm talking to you guys. And we're gonna be heading to my friend um, who really overcame so much, I can't believe it. And we're gonna go to her graduation and help celebrate. So um, now we're getting ready for that. But it's been a really long day. It's actually, um, as you can see here, it is four o'clock. We have been in this kitchen for five hours. Five hours, but it's been a lot of fun and look out for these recipes, the cowboy beans, the broccoli salad, the trifle. So uh, now Gideon and Brennan are getting ready and Noah, we're gonna meet Haley and Robert in town for the graduation and then we're just gonna hang out and spend some time together. So that has been our day and uh, looking forward tomorrow for some fun Sunday uh, family type things. So have a wonderful Saturday.